point of view. Let's get our first call of the day on. Okay. Here. We have Brandon from Loves Park, Illinois. I loves Park, Illinois. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hey Brandon, how are you? I'm really good. It's good to be talking with you. It's been a, a long time viewer and uh, I'm sad they took you away from America. They took, they tore me out of America. Brandon, I am coming back someday. I hope so, I hope so. I'll be downloading this off of Google, I think. Good, yeah, we sell it on Google Video, and we're working very hard. In 2007, there's gonna be some big changes to this program that we hope will make it easier for us to find an American home. Oh, that'd be great. I, I, that's really our, our goal here. We want uh, you back. It's not that we don't want Canada and Australia. We're thrilled. I just found out Australia is going to keep us for another year. But we want, we, we, want, we want as many countries as possible. We want to take over the world! Absolutely, and you should be. Say hello to uh, Callie Lewis from geekbrief.tv. Hey, how are you? The Great, web's how are most you? beautiful geek. Basil Coward on camera one. This room's most beautiful camera one operator. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, Brandon! Hey, uh, here's my question, Leo. I, uh, I'm a youth pastor, and I do a lot of speaking. I, I put my lessons together. I do retreats. I, I speak for workshops. Uh, you know, and I, I just have all of this work that I put together, and I work so hard on uh, videos that I use for illustrations. And uh, I have uh, uh, probably about half a terabyte worth of space on my office computer, about a half a terabyte of space on my home computer. Um, I've got a 400... A uh, gigabyte external hard drive and two 160 gigabyte external oh, hard drives. Do you have enough and, storage? What is that? That's a terabyte <laughs> of storage. I know. I maybe I'm paranoid that I'm just going to lose something. I've I've lost too many uh, laptop hard drives that I've I've just you know really gotten scared. So I, I've started backing things up. But what what I've done is I've backed up so much stuff that I'm backing up stuff that I've backed up. And now I've got you know about a half uh, a terabyte and a half worth of of storage. And and I'm finding you know video files that are like three and four gig two and three times in, in different places. I'm wondering if there's a piece of software out there, uh, preferably free, that uh, will go through all of my, my hard drive space and either delete or ask me to delete some of the duplicate things so that I can slim down. I bet you I have at least half a terabyte worth of duplicate information that I just I really don't need, but I don't want to lose the stuff I've worked so hard on. Uh, absolutely. This is something that people ask a lot. Uh, Windows, computers in general are excellent at making duplicate files. They specialize in it. It seems to be a, a, a real uh, skill that computers have. Uh, whether it's multiple copies of the same MP3, multiple copies of the same picture, uh, or, and this is where you got to be careful, multiple versions of the same document. Let's say you wrote a really great sermon and, uh, and you changed it a few times. Well, the name may be the same. The create date may be exactly the same. It may even be the same size, uh, and yet it's not the same file. So it's really important when using one of these programs, A, to be careful, but B, to use a program that doesn't just look at the file name, doesn't just look at the size, doesn't look at the date, actually looks into the contents, maybe uh, does a, what we call a CRC, which is a, a check on the, on the actual contents of the file to make sure that they don't match up, because you don't want to kill duplicates uh, of files that aren't really duplicates. The other thing is, sometimes you need duplicates. Uh, the way Windows works, particularly with these things called DLLs, these libraries that programs use, you may have many copies of the same DLL in different folders. People are often tempted to say, well, I only need one of those, right? And yeah. delete them, and then programs stop working, because the program is hardwired to the location of that library. If you delete all the wrong one, the programs are going to stop working. So it, you got to be careful. But because you're actually the perfect candidate, this is something that's on a backup drive, so it's not going to be a DLLs. It's not going to be programs. It's, not, it's only going to be documents, data documents of some kind, whether it's music or, or, or whatever. Uh, I think this is going to be a perfect program for you. By the way, you said free. I'm going to give you free. Oh, I love it. This is called Double Killer. <laughs> Not a good name, but it works. <laughs> From Big Bang Enterprises. Dot, and this is important. D E. It's a German company. Not com. Big Bang Enterprises. Dot D E. Uh, this is an English language page, though. Don't worry. And you'll see that Double Killer has both free versions and pro versions. The free version is slower, has a couple of limitations, uh, but it does the same basic thing, which is a, uh, you know, a, a pretty good comparison. If you, it's only twenty dollars. 
actually 1995, if you decide that you want to go with the commercial version, it's maybe a little more accurate because it has more advanced comparison, for instance, byte by byte comparison and so forth. It is a lot faster too. So try the free one, see if it does the job you want. It's very simple to use. This is a, it's a, it's a simple, small executable program. This is the options page. You'll pick the folders that you want to check. Uh, and you know, let's say I want to go through shared documents. Add that there. I've had my documents, shared documents. I can limit to certain files. That might be that you only want to check .doc files, for instance. Will I be able to do two different hard drives, like check the you bet. external E and external G? You bet. You awesome. can add any drives. You can add, so I'm going to add, I say I only want to match doc file names. I do, and you notice it excludes DL, Assist, VXD, and INF. These are files that often are duplicate, but need to be duplicate. Okay. It does a great, I mean, these are all in the free version, and then runs, and it runs very fast. In fact, I found nothing on my system because it's a pretty fresh system. I think it sounds like it will find considerably more on yours, Brad. Well, I really appreciate that. That's amazing. Good. Double killer from, uh, again, Big Bang Enterprises, Big Bang Enterprises dot D-E. All okay? right. Thanks a lot, Leo. Look at this great picture we got of this guy. Is this Skype? You bet it's Skype. <laughs> it's Skype. That's a great picture. Thanks a lot, Brandon. We'll take care and all the best to you. If you think you can hide behind an email address or maybe